First, there was the genocide in Sudan, which lasted 20 years in the lives of 2 million people by the Arab Muslims in the north, killing the Christians and animist Africans from the south of Sudan. Then, in 2003, the Darfur genocide started, killing an estimated 1 million people with the help of Swiss Pilatus airplanes and the Muslim Janjaweed or Devils on Horseback. And an estimated 1 million people got murdered in Darfur genocide with the help of Swiss Pilatus warplanes sold to the government of Chad. The Pilatus plant is right next to the Vauvilamo Swiss concentration camp. Pilatus is the Latin name for Pontius Pilat, the Roman prefect of Judea, who condemned Jesus of Nazareth to be executed by crucifixion. A very good name indeed for this Swiss genocide airplane used by the Janjaweed and the Muslims to murder black Christians in Africa. So the Swiss just say to themselves, well that'll teach them from immigrants coming to our clean and neutral innocent Switzerland. Our octagon warplane export will stop a few more Negro refugees to seek for a political asylum in our clean Switzerland. Well, it stopped one million actually. They're dead and their children. So before they had the German do it for them, but the Germans won't march anymore. So the Swiss look for other ex executives. I told you so that the Swiss are no real Europeans and that octagons ancestry goes back to the pharaohs of ancient Egypt and the Muslim world is just part of the Swiss octagon Nazi connection as Hitler had entire Muslim divisions of Albanians, Chechen, Chechnyans, Bosnians and Arabs in the SS as we can see them here the praying in SS uniforms and nowhere else in the world Hitler's book Mein Kampf is being sold and read more as in the Muslim world and the Swiss they finance Hitler so they also finance this here so no wonder Octogon is selling Pilatus genocide planes to the Muslims to kill Christians and don't forget how 100,000 Swiss mercenaries murdered two-thirds of the Christian Protestant German population during the 30-year war from 1618 to 1648 so here you can see one of the the uh, the SS Shriner hats they're wearing. Yeah, this is one of the Muslim divisions. So this is not a brigade, or you know, this is not small. This is big. This is division, like. And and here you can see them wearing it in in SS uniforms. Bosnians, Albanians the Hanshar division well, here you can see the same hat in Schreiner hat in German Feldkrau as the Wehrmacht so the Swiss genocide airplane has been used in Burma for massacres on Christian minorities and the Karen people it has been used for gunning down Zapatists and civilians in Guatemala and by the Mexican Air Force Saddam Hussein used a low-cost Swiss genocide plane against Christian minorities and to spray biological warfare on the Kurds and their children. The Chad Air Force uses it in the Darfur genocide and so on and so on. So this here is uh, Wikipedia where you just have to punch in Pilatus P7. They also have the P PC twenty one, which is the fastest, and the PC six and the PC nine, I think. Oh, charming, isn't it? And here it says in German on Wikipedia about uh, Saddam Hussein and the Kurds. Well, you just punch in Pilatus aircraft. So this is Wikipedia. And there it is again, the Pilatus, it can carry a lot of armour, it's probably faster than a Mustang uh, or, and a, or a Spitfire. Uh, it can do task, tasks, some tasks much better than a, uh, 
than a helicopter. And um, yeah, well here we can see it again with a nice snake on it in Switzerland with some Swiss mountains behind it. It's the same airplane we just saw in Chart where they did the Darfur genocide with the help of this Swiss airplane uh, killing one million people. So the latest Pilatus PC-21 version flies around 700 kilometers an hour which is as fast as a World War II Spitfire or Mustang and it uses US Pratt & Whitney engines developed in Canada. And this is their fastest version, the PC-21, the fastest genocide airplane from Switzerland. So you can read the whole article, just punch pause. So it says the Swiss government, they uh, they say they will investigate it. Well, they won't, to just talk a lot, but they won't do anything. So everybody thinks, well, we do, they do something. They've been doing it in the Second World War with the Nazis. They've been doing it before, and they're never going to change anything. So they got, they, since the Second World War, they had plenty of time to change something, but they didn't. You see what I'm getting at? So here we can see the Pilatus uh, aircraft again over Switzerland. Switzerland is not at all a peaceful, neutral country. It's a very brutal dictatorship. A chopper is too slow and doesn't get very far, and a jet is too fast to gun down defenseless civilians, as in the desert. So the Pilatus fills in the gap, and as the Swiss are very sly, get all the government's approval and stand above all international laws, they sell the plane in a civil version to go around UN embargoes and selling the attachments to hook on bombs and guns in, other, in another shipment or sell it first to a non-belligerent third country who again sells it, sells it to the dictator and wannabe genocider. So you can read the whole article. Just punch pause. Well, the Swiss, their banks and Erlikon guns have indeed a long tradition of neutrality swindle and lots of experience in camouflaged arm trades with the Nazis during World War II and other criminals. Well, it depends on what you want to do, really, strategically speaking, that is. And it's no use buying an expensive NATO helicopter or a US fighter jet if you just want to gun down some families in tents and on camels. For this, the Pilatus P7 is a good option. And you get 100 for the same price as for a US fighter jet. And you don't need the fighter jet's overkill on defensive civilians anyway. So here the smart Swiss war industry of Octagon fills in the strategic gap of air power for a comparatively low cost genocide. And to show how deep Octagon and this Pilatus genocide machine are involved into the highest levels of power, they even show the Pilatus factory in several James Bond movies in the Alps as in Goldfinger of 1964. So here you can see uh, Sean Connery uh, looking at the Pilatus factory. This thing goes very deep, extremely deep and higher, high up into the, uh, higher than the Swiss Alps. What a charming country, isn't it Charles? Oh yes Camilla, let's do some more skiing. <laughs> 